Vanilla beans can help lower body's cholesterol levels. It can also help alleviate arthritis, gout and other inflammatory conditions. Vanilla beans have antioxidants. They also have traces of calcium, magnesium, manganese, potassium, iron and zinc are all found in vanilla beans. Plus also B vitamins like B1, B2, B3, B5, B6. It can also help assist with aiding weight loss by decreasing appetite and increasing your metabolism efficiency. It can also help eliminate acne causing infections. Wow, vanilla beans is a super bean. Woohoo! Welcome to Lucy's Healthy and Yummy Plant-Based Foods. Today we will be making vanilla macadamia coconut ice cream. It is going to be super yummy and super simple to make. It will have no sugar, no animal dairy products, and you don't even need an ice cream churner. All you need are these stuff. Vanilla beans, macadamia nuts, mature dates, coconut milk, a pinch of salt, coconut water 100% a blender I'm gonna use these tiny silicone muffin trays and you will find out why later on so let's start cooking let's start by pitting the mature dates and I'm going to use roughly around four you can adjust this according to the sweetness you want. Now the majeure dates are pitted, let's chuck it into the blender just like that. Very simple, don't really need to chop anything because we're going to blend it. We also are going to chuck the 100% coconut milk into here as well, like this. A whole can. Chuck it in. A pinch of salt. Next is the vanilla beans. Now we're going to take one vanilla bean pot, slice it down in the middle and then scrape it like what I'm doing now. See all these beans? And we're gonna chuck it into the blender. There. And we'll just do that for the entire pot. So keep scraping. Make sure you get all the, as much of the beans out as you can. Look at all this. Wow. We are ready now, so let's go blending! Alright, so this is what it looks like, round one of blending. And I've given it a quick taste and I don't think it's sweet enough for me. So I'm going to add a couple more medjool dates in there just to sweeten it up. So this is where you do a bit of try and error um, to see how sweet you like it. So I'm going to chuck another three more in, I think. Okay, round two blending. Let's start. Hey, this is what it looks like after round two. And I've tasted it and I like the sweetness this time. So, next, let's chuck in a third of a cup of macadamia nuts. And the reason I'm chucking it now is because I want the macadamia nuts to be still have a crunchy texture in the ice cream. I didn't want it to become like, it's gone. So we're just going to give it a quick pulse. Okay, and we are ready. Now, next, let's get the mini muffin trays. So the reason why I'm using this instead of the standard like balls or ice cream tops you put it in is because you have to take forever to freeze it. And I'm very impatient when I want my ice cream. 
So I figured out this method where you use this Pour it on here and then it doesn't take that long to freeze. It just reduces the freezing time. If you don't have it, use whatever container you have to freeze it. But I'm going to use this because it'll save me a lot of time. So let's just pour it in here. Like so, very simple. Ooh, try not to overflow it. There it is already. And I'm just going to cover it up in glad wrap and pop it in the freezer for about an hour to see if it hardens. It has been a couple of hours because I got a bit distracted while this was freezing. And as you can see, I ended up eating two already. So there's two ways you can eat it. Whether you're, if you're lazy, just pop it out of the tray and you can eat it directly like a bite of ice cream. Or you can, you know, put it in the blender and blend it again so it actually turns into more of a smoothie. But I like it this way because I'm lazy. So I'm going to show you the lazy people's way of eating. Which is, just pop it out of the tray. And then into the bowl it goes. And you can see that like, because it's only been freezing for probably three hours. So it's not entirely frozen. So it's still got that creaminess, which is just perfect. And you can pop as many out as you want. Ta-da! Vanilla macadamia coconut ice cream! Look at this! Doesn't this look yummy? And it's so simple to eat because it's already in bite-sized pieces. So you can just either eat it like this with your fingers or you can use a fork or a spoon. Whatever way you want. Let's get started! Okay, this is the best part I've been waiting for! Check this out! Look how creamy it is! Like, you see the texture? Mmm! Mmm! Oh my god! See? It's creamy! And I didn't even need to use a churn or anything! There! Mmm! So yummy! And there's no sugar in here, just dates! This is all the sweetness from the dates! This is so good, you have to make it yourself! Remember to share the love and subscribe! Live healthy! Live happy! Woohoo! I'll see you next Thursday! Lower blood pressure. Ume boshi. Irashai. Lucy's. Eh? Irashai. Today we will be. Uh, Woohoo! If you're getting bored of the ordinary, uh, then this is going to change. Uh, then try this. It is super simple. Mm. This is where some chopping skills comes in. A Kung Fu chop! And we are using a fork today, not the hand. Like I did in episode one. And try not to make a mess. Amazing. Wow. I think I'm going to put a little bit more. You can tell that I am an avocado lover. Yeah, doesn't that look cute? And ta-da, we're ready! Umeboshi smashed avocado toast. Doesn't this look yummy? And so pretty! If you enjoyed... Uh, if you enjoyed this... Uh, if you enjoyed this smashed avocado... Uh, remember to share it and... Uh, if you remember... Uh, ah, if you remember this... Uh, <laughs> Remember to share the uh, and share this umeboshi smashed avocado. Uh, <laughs>